So for today's episode of I Swim Unplugged, I am gonna make one of my quintessential summer meals that I make for my family all the time, at least once, sometimes twice a week, especially at the end of summer and carried into the beginning of fall. We're all grasping hold of summer as long as we can. And this meal, because of its carefree nature, really celebrates the season. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the simplest technique to grill whitefish. And what I do is I take a lemon and I slice it into discs. I'm gonna turn the grill on, get it piping hot. I'm gonna lay down these lemon slices and then put the piece of fish on top of the lemon. The reason being is because white fish can be really finicky on the grill. It usually sticks to the grates because it's so thin and flaky and it's really hard to flip. So by using this bed of lemons, you're avoiding having to flip, nothing is going to stick to the grill, and you also get that amazing infusion of that lemony flavor into your fish as it's cooking and steaming. What I'm also going to do is I am gonna utilize two of my favorite um, ingredients or pieces of produce or whatever you wanna call it at this time of year, which is tomatoes and corn. Both are at their sweetest towards the end of August and into September, and I'm gonna utilize them in a really simple salad. I'm just gonna slice up some sun gold tomatoes. I'm gonna shuck raw corn. I'm gonna put some shallots in there, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of chili, maybe some capers to give that briny element. And I'm just gonna to toss it all together with olive oil and salt and let all those, in, those flavors infuse. Um, add some basil from my garden, and then I'm just gonna toss this incredibly flavorful celebration of summer over that piece of white fish, and it's so simple. So I'm gonna get cooking for you guys so that you can follow along, and I hope this dish inspires you. All right, guys, the first thing that we are going to do is to prep these tomatoes, just removing those cute little stems. Cut one shallot in half, peel that outer skin, cut the edge. Now, of course, if you wanted to pickle these, that would even give it that much more flavor. But since I'm going to put lots of acid in there from some lemon and some lime and maybe a little bit of champagne vinegar, just felt as though pickling them was an unnecessary step. So this garlic clove is quite large, so I'm not gonna do all of it. Just going to shave maybe half of it. I personally really love serrano chilies, especially with corn. So I'm gonna slice this into very small discs. You can also mince it if you don't like too strong of a flavor. You can eliminate this altogether. You could use habanero or fresno chili. This of course is optional depending on how much you like heat, but Victor and I, and Jivan actually, really love the heat. So I have about a tablespoon of capers here. Throw some olive oil. I'd say maybe about a quarter cup, but I'm just eyeballing it. Zest, some lime. I really love lime. I think it's super underutilized. Lemon, of course, is like my go-to, but lime is just that much more pungent and a little bit unexpected. So I'm gonna do a splash of champagne vinegar. You never have to use exactly what I have. Honestly, white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, any of it would actually work. All right, we have almost all of our elements here. I'm going to let it sit and let all of those amazing flavors kind of infuse together. I'm not gonna put the acid from the lemon juice and the lime juice just yet, and I'm not gonna put the salt just yet. I feel like if I put the acid too soon, it's going to like make the tomatoes a bit mushier. And if I add the salt too soon, it's gonna make the tomatoes release their liquid and again, make everything too mushy. So I'm gonna leave this as it is. I'm gonna go prep our grill and I'm gonna go get some basil.
Okay guys, I have two fillets of fluke that was just caught in Montauk. I am going to season with some salt, a little drizzle of olive oil, fresh cracked pepper. Really super simple seasoning. It's really all you need. Because all that flavor is gonna come from our summery salad. I forgot to mention that the corn, I'm also gonna wait until the very end to add it to the salad. Um, I really want to capture that crisp sweetness from corn when it is freshest and when it's raw. So I'm gonna shuck that just at the very end. But let's hop over to the grill and we can get these guys cooking. I'm going to create a bed for those fillets to sit on. So all I'm going to do is lay the fillet directly on top of that lemon. The fish is on the grill. Let's shuck this corn and um, put it in our salad and add the basil to our salad and finish that up. That fish is gonna cook real quickly, so I'm gonna hop and do that right now. Here is our summer salad. I, at this point, I am going to squeeze some lime juice. I am going to directly shuck some raw corn let that cascade right into our salad. I'm gonna put some flaky Malden sea salt, and then I am going to pick some of our basil. I'm gonna try to just use either the smaller leaves or tear them because I don't want them to turn brown. Usually if you cut basil, they end up getting that um, brownish color. So I'm gonna pick these small guys, and then I'm even going to use some of these really precious basil flowers. Look at how fresh and summery that looks, guys. As always, you should taste things. This way you have a better understanding if it needs more acid, more salt, more spice, more anything. So it's been about six to eight minutes and I'm gonna go check on our fish. I'm gonna even maybe see if I wanna keep and retain some of those charred bits of lemon because that might just look really pretty on our platter. Look at how beautiful that fish looks. I took some of those little bits of lemon and I am literally just going to take our salad and just kind of place it over our fish haphazardly, making sure I get all of the elements, the corn, the basil, the shallots, the tomatoes. I'm gonna put some of those basil flowers right on top. I'm gonna to give it some fresh cracked pepper, another little bit of Malden sea salt, another squeeze of lime, and there you go. It's so delicious and it screams end of summer.